the Yellowstone Hotspot, also referred to as the Snake River Plain Yellowstone Hotspot, is a volcanic hotspot responsible for large-scale volcanism in Oregon, Nevada, Idaho, and Wyoming created as the North American tectonic plate moved across the Yellowstone Hotspot. It formed the eastern Snake River Plain through a succession of caldera-forming eruptions. The resulting calderas include the Island Park Caldera, the Henry's Four Caldera, and the Bruno Jarbage Caldera. The hotspot currently lies under the Yellowstone Caldera. The hotspot's most recent caldera forming super eruption, known as the Lava Creek eruption, took place 640,000 years ago and created the Lava Creek Tuff and the most recent Yellowstone Caldera. The Yellowstone hotspot is one of a few volcanic hotspots underlying the North American tectonic plate. Others include the Anaheim and Return. Hotspots, Snake River Plain. The eastern Snake River Plain is a topographic depression that cuts across basin and range mountain structures, more or less parallel to North American plate motion. Beneath more recent basalts are rhyolite lavas and ignimbrites that erupted as the lithosphere passed over the hotspot. Younger volcanoes that erupted after passing over the hotspot covered the plain with young basalt lava flows in places, including craters of the Moon National Monument. The central Snake River Plain is similar to the eastern plain, but differs by having thick sections of interbedded lacustrine and fluvial sediments, including the Hagerman fossil beds. Nevada Oregon Calderas. Although the McDermott volcanic field on the Nevada Oregon border is frequently shown as the site of the initial impingement of the Yellowstone hotspot, new geochronology and mapping demonstrates that the area affected by this mid Miocene volcanism is significantly larger than previously appreciated. Three silicic calderas have been newly identified in northwest Nevada, west of of the McDermott volcanic field as well as the Virgin Valley Caldera. These calderas along with the Virgin Valley Caldera and McDermott Caldera are interpreted to have formed during a short interval 16.5 minus 15.5 million years ago in the waning stage of the Steens flood basalt volcanism. The northwest Nevada calderas have diameters ranging from 15 to 26 6 kilometers and deposited high temperature rheolite ignimbrites over approximately 5,000 square kilometers. The Bruno Jarbage caldera erupted between 10 and 12 million years ago, spreading a thick blanket of ash in the Bruno Jarbage event and forming a wide caldera. Animals were suffocated and burned in pyroclastic flows within a hundred miles of the event, and died of slow suffocation and starvation much farther away, notably at Ashfall Fossil Beds, located 1,000 miles downwind in northeastern Nebraska, where a foot of ash was deposited. There are 200 fossilized rhinoceros and many other animals were preserved in two meters of volcanic ash. By its characteristic chemical fingerprint and the distinctive size and shape of its crystals and glass shards, the volcano stands out among dozens of prominent ashfall horizons laid down in the Cretaceous, Paleogene, and Neogene periods of Central North America. The event responsible for this fall of volcanic ash was identified as Bruno Jarbage. Prevailing westerlies deposited distal ash fall over a vast area of the Great Plains. Volcanic fields, twin falls and Picabo volcanic fields. Twin Falls Volcanic Field and Picabo Volcanic Field were active about 10 million years ago. The Picabo Caldera was notable for producing the Arbonne Valley a tough 10.2 million years ago. Highs Volcanic Field 
the highest volcanic field of eastern Idaho produced explosive caldera forming eruptions which began 6.6 million years ago and lasted for more than 2 million years, sequentially producing four large volume rheolitic eruptions. The first three caldera forming rheolites, Blacktail Tuff, Walcott Tuff and Conant Creek Tuff, totaled at least 2,250 cubic kilometers of eruption erupted magma. The final, extremely voluminous, caldera-forming eruption, the Kilgore Tuff, which erupted 1,800 cubic kilometers of ash, occurred 4.5 million years ago. Yellowstone Plateau The Yellowstone Plateau volcanic field is composed of four adjacent calderas. West Thumb Lake is itself formed by a smaller caldera which erupted 174,000 years ago. The Henry's Fork caldera in Idaho was formed in an eruption of more than 280 cubic kilometers 1.3 million years ago and is the source of the Mesa Falls Tuff. The Henry's Fork caldera is nested inside of the Island Park caldera and the calderas share a rim on the western side. The earlier Island Park caldera is much larger and more oval and extends well into Yellowstone Park. Although much smaller than the Island Park caldera, the Henry's Fork caldera is still sizable at 18 miles long and 23 miles wide and its curved rim is plainly visible from many locations in the Island Park area. Of the many calderas formed by the Yellowstone hotspot including the later Yellowstone caldera, the Henry's Fork caldera is the only one that is currently clearly visible. The Henry's Henry's Fork of the Snake River flows through the Henry's Fork caldera and drops out at Upper and Lower Mesa Falls. The caldera is bounded by the Ashton Hill on the south Big Bend Ridge and Bishop Mountain on the west, by Thurburn Ridge on the north and by Black Mountain and the Madison Plateau on the east. The Henry's Fork caldera is in an area called Island Park. Araman State Park is situated in the caldera. The Island Park caldera is older and much larger than the Henry's Fork caldera with approximate dimensions of 58 miles by 40 miles. It is the source of the Huckleberry Ridge Tuff that is found from Southern California to the Mississippi River near St. Louis. This super eruption occurred 2.1 million years BP and produced 2,500 cubic kilometers of ash. The Island Park caldera is sometimes referred to as the first phase Yellowstone caldera or the Huckleberry Ridge caldera. The youngest of the hotspot calderas, the Yellowstone caldera, formed 640,000 years ago and is about 34 miles by 45 miles wide. Non-explosive eruptions of lava and less violent explosive eruptions have have occurred in and near the Yellowstone caldera since the last super eruption. The most recent lava flow occurred about 70,000 years ago, while the largest violent eruption excavated the west thumb of Lake Yellowstone around 150,000 years ago. Smaller steam explosions occur as well. An explosion 13,800 years ago left a 5-kilometer diameter crater at Mary Bay on the edge of Yellowstone Lake. Both the highs and Yellowstone volcanic fields produced a series of caldera-forming eruptions characterized by magmas with so-called normal oxygen isotope signatures and a series of predominantly post-caldera magmas with so-called light oxygen isotope signatures. The final stage of volcanism at highs was marked by light magma eruptions. If highs is any indication, this could mean that the Yellowstone caldera has entered its final stage, but the volcano might still exit with a climactic fourth caldera event analogous to the fourth and final caldera forming the eruption of highs, which was also made up of so-called light magmas. The appearance of light magmas would seem to indicate that the uppermost portion of the continental crust has largely been consumed by the earlier 
caldera forming events, exhausting the melting potential of the crust above the mantle plume. In this case Yellowstone could be expiring, it could be another 1 minus 2 million years before a new supervolcano is born to the northeast, and the Yellowstone Plateau volcanic field joins the ranks of its deceased ancestors in the Snake River Plain. Geotimes, Yellowstone and Highs, supervolcanoes that light and up Catherine D. Watts, Ilya N. Binder Men and Axel K. Schmidt Petrology, Volume 52, No. 5, Large Volume Realite Genesis in Caldera Complexes of the Snake River Plain, Insights from the Kilgore Tuff of the Highest Volcanic Field, Idaho, with comparison to Yellowstone and Bruno Jarbage Realites, pp. 857-890. Eruptive History WAPI Lava Field and King's Bowl Blowout, northeast of Rupert, Idaho, 2.270 car plus or minus 0.15, Hell's Half Acre Lava Field, west to southwest of Idaho Falls, 3.250 car plus or minus 0.15. Shoshone Lava Field, north of Twin Falls, Idaho, 8.400 car plus or minus 0.3, Craters of the Moon National Monument and Preserve, Great Rift of Idaho, the lava field was formed during eight eruptive episodes between about 15 and 2 car. Kings Bowl and WAPI lava fields formed about 2.25 Ocar, Yellowstone Caldera, between 70 and 150 car, 1,000 cubic kilometers intracool the areolitic lava flows, Yellowstone Park. Yellowstone Caldera, 640 car, VEI-8, more than 1,000 cubic kilometers of lava creek tuff, Henry's 4 Caldera, 1.3 mart VEI-7, 280 cubic kilometers of Mesa Falls tuff, Island Park Caldera Harriman State Park. Island Park Caldera, 2.1 Mart VEI-8, 2,450 cubic kilometers of Huckleberry Ridge Tuff, Highs Volcanic Field, Idaho, Kilgore Caldera, VEI-8, 1,800 cubic kilometers of Kilgore Tuff, 4.45 Mar plus or minus 0.05. 4.49 Ma Tuff of Highs, 5.37 Ma Tuff of Elkhorn Springs, 5.51 Ma Plus or Minus 0.13, 5.94 Ma, 5.6 Ma, 500 cubic kilometers of Blue Creek Tuff. 5.81 Ma Tuff of Wolverine Creek 6.27 Ma Plus or Minus 0.04 6.57 Ma Tuff of ED School Blacktail Caldera 6.62 Ma Plus or Minus 0.03 1,500 cubic kilometers of Blacktail Tuff 7.48 Martuff of America Falls, 8.75 Martuff of Lost River Sinks, 9.17 Martuff of Carl Canyon, 9.34 Martuff of Little Chukcheri Canyon, Twin Falls Volcanic Field, Twin Falls County, Idaho, 8.6 to 10 Ma. Picabo Volcanic Field, Picabo, Idaho, 10.09 Mar and 10.21 Mar plus or minus 0.03, Bruno Jarbage Volcanic Field, Bruno River, Jarbage River, Idaho, 10.0 to 12.5 Mar, Ashfall Fossil Beds Eruption, Oehi Humboldt Volcanic Field, Oehi County, Idaho, Nevada, and Oregon, around 12 Point eight to thirteen point nine Ma McDermott Volcanic Field, Oravada Rift, McDermott, Nevada, Oregon, twenty thousand square kilometers, Trout Creek Mountains, east of the Pueblo Mountains, Whitehorse Caldera, Oregon, fifteen Mart, forty cubic kilometers of Whitehorse Creek Tuff, 
Jordan Meadow Caldera, 15.6 mart, 350 cubic kilometers Long Ridge Tough Member 2 to 3, Long Ridge Caldera, 15.6 mart, 400 cubic kilometers Long Ridge Tough Member 5. Calavera Caldera, 15.7 mart, 300 cubic kilometers of double H tough, Trout Creek Mountains, Pueblo Caldera, Oregon, 15.8 mart, 40 cubic kilometers of Trout Creek Mountains tough, Hoppen Peaks Caldera, 16 mart, Hoppen Peak stuff. Washburn Caldera, Oregon, 16.548 mar, 250 cubic kilometers of Oregon Canyon Tuff, Yellowstone Hotspot, Lake Oehi Volcanic Field, 15.0 to 15.5 mar, Yellowstone Hotspot, Northwest Nevada Volcanic Field, Virgin Valley, High Rock, Hog Ranch, and unnamed calderas west of the Pine Forest Range, Nevada. Nevada 15.5 to 16.5 mar tufts Idaho Canyon Ashdown Summit Lake and Soldier Meadow Columbia River Basalt Province Yellowstone Hotspot sets off a huge pulse of volcanic activity the first eruptions were near the Oregon Idaho Washington border Columbia River and Steens flood basalts Pueblo and Malagorge region, Pueblo Mountains, Steens Mountain, Washington, Oregon, and Idaho, USA. Most vigorous eruptions were from 14 to 17 Mar, 180,000 cubic kilometers of lava. Columbia River flood basalts, 175,000 cubic kilometers. Steens flood basalts, 65,000 cubic kilometers. Crescent Volcanics, Olympic Peninsula, Southern Vancouver Island, 50 to 60 Ma, Siletz River Volcanics, Oregon Coast Range, a sequence of basaltic pillow lavas. Carmax Group, Yukon, 63,000 square kilometers, 70 Ma, dot. Notes Harney Basin, McDermott Volcanic Field, Oehi Humboldt Volcanic Field, Lake Oehi Volcanic Field, Jordan Craters, Santa Rosa, Calico Volcanic Field, Hawks Valley, Lone Mountain Volcanic Field, Northwest Nevada Volcanic Field, Juniper Mountain Caldera Complex, and Silver City, Delamar Caldera Complex the nested in one area. Geologic landmarks of the area, Steens Mountain, Northern Nevada Rift, Midas Trough, Santa Rosa Mountains, Bull Run, Tuscarora Mountains, Oehi Mountains, Oregon Idaho Graben, and Western Snake River Plain. Other manifestations of the Yellowstone Hotspot, Rexburg Volcanic Field, west of Rexburg, Idaho, Henry's Lake Volcanism, Henry's Lake, Blackfoot Volcanic Field, northwest of Soda Springs, Idaho, Gem Valley Volcanic Field, near Grace, Idaho. The initial volcanism is part of the Basin and Range Province and the Oregon-Idaho Graben.